There are lots of ways to make it easier to create complex view hierarchies in Swift UI, and one option is to use properties. To create a view as a property of your own view, then use that property inside your layouts. For example, I could make two properties inside content view right here, both containing text. I could say, let motto one be the text of Draco Dormiens, a sleeping dragon. And then motto two be the text of Nunquam Titillandus, never tickle. And now in my VStack here, I could place motto one, then motto two, and they appear in my preview straight away. You can even apply modifiers to these as they're being used. For example, I could say motto one has a foreground style of red and motto two has a foreground style of blue. Now, creating properties in this way can be helpful to keep this body property clearer. Not only does it help avoid repetition, but it also helps get more complex logic out of the body property. Now, Swift does not let one stored property refer to another stored property. It would cause problems in terms of the objects being created, the order things are being made. This means trying to make a text field that's bound to a local property when they're both properties will cause problems. However, you can create computed properties if you want to. We could say, for example, that this thing is actually var motto one, and then make it return some view, and then just paste it inside there. It return the text, text record or mien to exactly the same thing. There's often a great way to carve up your complex views into smaller chunks, but you want to be careful. Unlike this body property, Swift will not automatically apply that view builder attribute here. So if you want to send multiple views back, you have three options. First, you can place them inside a stack. For example, I might say var spells is some view going back. Inside there will be a V stack with text of, let's do a Lumos and text obliviate, like so. If you don't specifically want to organize them in a stack, like a V stack or a H stack, you can also send back a group like this. And when that happens, the order and arrangement of your views is determined by how you use them elsewhere in your code. The third option is to add the view builder attribute directly. So we might say up here, I want to do at view builder var spells and then text and text like so. Now of them all, I prefer to use at view builder because it mimics the way the body property works. It's exactly the same thing behind the scenes. However, I'm also really wary when I see folks cramming lots of functionality into their properties. It's usually a sign that the views are getting a bit too complicated and have to be broken up. Speaking of which, let's tackle that next.